My name's Billy J. Espick. I am a kind of a custom painter of sorts. I've been in business 40 years on my own. And when I started in business, there were still sign painters, there were still letterers, that people actually did the lettering work. When I started my business, all of a sudden, you know, friends and people said, hey, I want you to paint my car. There's other people that do what I do, but I think it's, you could probably count them on one hand in three states. It wasn't until the 90s that I restored an antique safe, made it look like awesome, and I thought, man, this is really neat. I, I feel like there's something inside of me that wants to do as many safes as I can while I can. So the first thing I do is try to find any kind of detail or remnants of what was on there originally. So then I trace patterns, I make copies, take lots of photographs. The part I don't like is the sandblasting, the body work. If it's got a portrait, I paint the portrait on. I usually take the tracings and trace this so I can copy it at least in the 90%, if not 95% original, so it'll look just like it did brand new. All this stuff had colors in it. These stripes here were red, this was red, there's a stripe up here that was red. And every time you put a stripe on it, you go, man, it just it starts to come to life again. And it's like, that's, that's the fun part. The very last thing that I do is I sign my name and date it. It's definitely in my genes. My grandfather was a, a, a painter, and then my father painted stripes and designs on ceilings, and it, it comes from some German genes in there somewhere, because I mean, most all these safes were all German. It kind of flows out of me. I would love, instead of me being out here, is have a display somewhere and put these in a, like a lobby of like a bank, an old bank down there. Someday, you hope that somebody will look at these things and go, wow, they really did stuff like that back then and sparked a sense of pride.